probably studying English okay. because I I enjoy um, my class here at uh, the Berlin or okay. at Berlin my classes Berbling or at at Berlin uh -huh. which one <laughs> mm -hmm. my classes here at Berlin yeah. Uh, verbing, so without um, the. Yes, without the. Um, but nice, cool. So take a bunch of English classes. Any other plans? Think anything else? Um, probably just go to the gym. Okay. And walk the dogs later. Nice. How many dogs do you have? And uh, we have. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. Wow. Okay. And what kinds of dogs are they? Um, Chihuahua cross, um, then two Shih Tzu, and okay. then one Toy Poodle. Okay, so they're all small dogs. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, my mother also has four dogs. She has um, two Chihuahuas, uh, yeah. pit bull, and another mix. Some sort of like. Uh, like a sheep dog, smart and has a lot oh, of energy. Oh, okay. sure. Combination of big and small. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's just got a combination of big and small. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> cool. And, <laughs> yeah, dogs are fun. Um, yeah, it's I good. I just visited her, so I saw the saw the dogs. Um, yeah. All right, and yeah. Is she walking uh, the dog as well? Yeah, she the dogs actually have her. a really big backyard. Yeah, the dogs oh, they, have a big backyard, so she plays fetch. Mm, but they don't a lot. usually walk the dog outside. Like they don't go yeah. to the park, park something like. Um. So she lives in the middle of nowhere. So she has a oh. lot of open space, um, to walk the dogs in, and the dogs kind of run around a lot by themselves, um, and with a ball. So you just throw the ball, and they chase after it. Oh, okay. So it's a bit different, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we usually go to the park, and sometimes we go to the hills to, okay. um, you know, walk the dogs. Yeah. Nice. There are lots of park dog hills. walkers. Very cool. Yeah, dog yeah. walkers are great. Um, walking dogs is fun too. It's a good way to relax and think. Um, yeah. <laughs> and Adela, welcome to class. Adela, how's it going? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Doing really well. Thank you for asking. Um, and Adela, what? I guess what are you gonna do tomorrow for Sunday? Uh, tomorrow I go uh, hiking with uh, friends uh, near Valencia. No nice. so far at home. Okay. So you're gonna go hiking with some friends in Valencia or near Valencia. Um, is it gonna yeah. be a mountain hike? Um. It's uh, on the mountain, but it's a short uh, hike in uh, three or four hours. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. Really pretty. I like hiking. Um, I haven't done I think much recently. The weather is, uh, is good. Uh, the, the weather for a cast for tomorrow is, uh, is good too. Same. Nice. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Yes. I hope. Okay. Yeah. And Shane, do you like to hike? Sorry? Huh. I was asking Shane yes. if yes. he likes oh. to hike. I haven't tried hiking. Though Yeah. Though I love walking. Um and I tried walking to some hills. Sometimes walking okay. down the down near the river. I haven't I haven't tried hiking. Okay, so no hiking, just walking down near the river. Okay. Yeah. All right, and we also have um, Jose. I think I'm not really sure. I can't see your name yet. Um, Javier. Javier, how's it going? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Nice. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Um, and so Javier, what did you do today? No, not a lot. Today, so I was, uh, I've been at home and studying English, and I go, I went, I went shopping, and that's it. So nice. Yeah. What did you go shopping for? I to buy some groceries to the supermarket. Nice. 
one small thing with groceries. We don't really pronounce the grocer. We just say groceries, groceries. Okay, groceries. Yeah. Um, but it sounds a little bit more natural. Okay. And who we, we have Jose now. Jose, how's it going? Hello. Hello, I'm fine, Joshua. Thanks for asking. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Um, and Jose, what about you? How was your day? What did you do? Yes, uh, my day was a normal day. In the morning, I was running, and in the afternoon, I I, I went uh, shopping with my family, and now uh, I am studying English. Nice. Okay, so pretty normal day. Um, and I guess we're good. Let's get started on today's class. And let's start with... Uh, Shane, can you read the title and the next few lines? Um, decisions. Next two lines. Uh, today we will learn decision making idioms. Yeah, yeah, and you just go through it, sorry. Okay, that's fine. Uh, read comics about big decisions, learn about irrational decisions, and practice a role play. Nice. Really good job. Um, so read the next few lines is sometimes used um, to mean more than two. Um, so sometimes it's kind of like hyperbole. Yeah, next few oh, lines. Yeah. Kind of continue. But good. Um, <laughs> I, what I understand is just read the two. <laughs> okay, no worries. That's my fault, really. Um, <laughs> literally means two, but um, yeah. It is used for more than a couple, but good job. Uh, and okay. Shane, can you ask Jose the, the first question? Um, Ho Jose? Okay, Jose. Yes. What, oh, wait. Uh, what are some decisions that you make? Uh, for example, I, I make uh, some decisions every day. I, I teach uh, my my daughter every every day. I I help uh, to 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 her uh, to study to to study, to study uh, at the school. At school, not that. At at the school, okay. No that. Ah, okay, at the school, without that, okay. So just at school? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so, yeah, you decide to help your daughter study every day. Um, okay, and Jose, can you ask Javier this yes. the next question? What was an important decision you made last year? Talk about it and why it was important. Mm, an important decision. Yeah, I decided to to come to UK for a for a period of time, and I think I moved from Barcelona to to UK. And and why it was important? It was important because yeah, I moved, uh, I left my family and my friends in in Spain, and right now I'm I'm in UK. Nice. Remember, I'm in the UK. I the UK, yeah. Yeah. So it's just a common thing. We do need to put the the article in front of it. Um, so it's kind of like saying the United States as opposed to Spain. So the, the United Kingdom, um, United Arab Emirates, but uh, Spain, Russia, um, China. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the country, um, but we wouldn't say things like the Brazil. We'd just say Brazil. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. Okay. And good. Maybe have Javier, can you ask Adela the same question? Yeah. Adela, what was an important decision you made last year and talk about it and why it was important? Uh, last year uh, I don't I didn't uh, um, take uh, um, 
any important decision, I think, mm, because uh, the work is uh, same. Uh, uh, no, no problem to buy something. I think uh, the most important decision is where is the the place uh, for the <laughs> for the holidays for um, vacation, <laughs> maybe. Okay, for vacation. Good. Um, we wouldn't say take any important important decisions. How do we change this? Make. Yeah. No. So we didn't yes. make any important decisions um, because I think we'd use a possessive pronoun. Um, here. My work is the uh, same. Yeah, my work is the same. It hasn't changed. Um, no problem with buying anything. Maybe we could say I haven't had a problem with buying anything. No, uh, to decide, uh, for example, if you need to buy a car or, or a house, but uh, I don't buy anything important. Okay. Maybe in that case we'd say I haven't had to buy anything important. The most important decision um, was where to stay on vacation or where to go on vacation. Yes. I think that sounds better. Can you read that one more time, Adela? Yes. Uh, last year I didn't make any important decisions because my work is same. I haven't had to buy anything important and the most important decision was where to go on vacation. Yeah. Remember my work is the same. My work is the same. The same. Yeah. And vacation. 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 Good. Nice job. Uh, maybe one more. Shane, what about you? Any big decisions last year? Uh, big decision last year. Yeah, did you make any? Um, well, probably yes. Uh, coming back to Australia is a big decision. <laughs> Because um, okay. when I, when I uh, went back home in my country, um, I applied for a job, and then I get hired. So um, my niece and her husband said that it's better for me to go back, and um, I realized that probably I should because I already um, studied here for around two years and um, I don't want to waste the time that I spent here so yeah that's what my um, big decision uh, that I made. Nice. Really good. Okay. And yeah that's great. What kind of job is it? What are you doing? Oh in my country I'm going to do a as a design engineering, or I'm going to my 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 work is gonna be design engineer. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Um, all right, and I think we're good. Let's go on to the next page, and let's have Jose. Can you read the words in the title? Yes, vocabulary. Discuss. Are we? Contemplate, regret, anxiety, possibilities, repercussions, rational, irrational. Nice. Some really small things that I noticed. Um, argue. 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 Hmm? Argue. Argue. Okay. Argue. And then contemplate. 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 Anxiety. 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 Possibilities. Possibilities. Good. Repercussions. 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 Yeah, repercussions. Repercussions. And then rational. Rational. 
Rational. Rational. Rational. But, okay. Yeah. And yeah, really good job. And does anybody have any questions here? OK, let's have Javier. Can you make a sentence using repercussions? Uh, yeah, when they, when they made the decision, they didn't, uh, they didn't care about the repercussions. OK. They didn't care about the repercussions. Really nicely done. And Adela, can you make a sentence with irrational? Um, sometimes uh, decisions are uh, irrational. You don't think the consequences. Yeah, you don't think of the consequences. Of the consequences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nicely done. And OK, let's go. <clears throat> and Shane, can you read the title and the first idiom? Idioms. On the fence. I'm on the fence as to whether I want to travel or stay at home during my next vacation. Nice. And Jose, what do you think this means? Yes. I'm on the fence as to whether I want to travel or stay at home in my next vacation. Any ideas? Yeah. Uh, I I I I have to organize the organize the, the vacations. I don't know. What does on the fence mean? Fence uh, the fence. On the fence. On the fence on the <coughs> Fence is a, is a barrier. A fence is is a is a hardly uh, is a <coughs> a guard or guide on a plane, no? Um. Okay, we're talking about something a little bit different. So this is an idiomatic expression on the fence. Yes. Maybe Javier, do you know what it means? More or less, I'm on the fence. Uh, it's last decision, or you are not sure about this, about something. You are in the line between doing or not doing it, so you are in a. Yeah, so. yeah when you're not sure about something, when you are in between, in between yeah. two choices. Okay. And can't use. <coughs> okay. And David, welcome to class. David, how's it going? Hi, Joshua. Good Hi. to see you. Good to see you too. Um, David, how do you pronounce the word that I've written in the chat box? Mm, sorry, my chat box is not working. How about that? Uh, I think the pronunciation is comfortable. Not quite. Uncomfortable. Uh, okay. I'm um, uncomfortable. Not quite. So we don't really pronounce that for it. Um, <laughs> again, we'll just do more practice. I know. I think the last time I saw you, we were talking about this word. So. Um, okay. But uh, yeah. Well, welcome to class, David. It's nice to see you. Okay, Joshua. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And Adela, can you read the next one?
Ok, hedge e your bets. The company hedge its bets by developing a second line of uh, products. Nice. Ok. Mm, maybe it's bet. Mm, I don't know exactly, uh, but um, maybe um, in this case is uh, is uh, sure the company has control uh, a lot uh, before developing uh, a second line of products. It's insurance that the company does what? Uh, that's control, um, that uh, control uh, uh, all uh, possibility or has uh, control uh, uh, the market or, uh, or anything no? before to develop uh, the second line of product. Uh, okay, I so think is is uh, 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 assure you no know, the success and uh, is uh, to to have uh, I don't uh, can explain uh, but uh, I I I understand the the meaning but uh, okay. But it's difficult to explain. Is uh, when uh, uh, people uh, uh, do something, uh, but uh, not problem uh, with uh, this act, uh, because the uh, mm, uh, all possibility uh, mm, to the problem uh, are always control. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's. You're really close. Um, when you control a situation so well that there's no possibility that something will go wrong, I think is what you're saying. Yes. Um, yeah. So it's similar. It's more when you um, maybe on use, uh, uh, for example, in Spain, uh, when uh, the are a teenager, uh, don't. Uh, uh, study, uh, don't learn, uh, but uh, it's a very uh, rich family, uh, no problem, they had uh, its bet uh, because uh, they have a uh, amount no, of okay. money to protect uh, in this uh, case. Uh, it's a little bit different than that. Um, that's more like playing a game you can't lose. When we hedge our bets, it's when you make investments or when you do multiple things so that when one thing fails, another thing will be able to take its place. Um, so you can hedge your bets perhaps by starting a sub-company but also starting a farm. So if the sub-company doesn't work, the farm will work. Um, that's a really bad example. But yeah, so... This company is making sure that if its first product line fails, if it doesn't work, it has a second product line that it can use. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, because uh, I say an, an example that is more uh, worst the the meaning about the expression. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So slightly different, but good. And Alexander, welcome to class. Alexander, how's it going? Hello, it's going well. Thank you. Nice, good to hear. Um, and let's have Shane. Can you make an uh, example sentence using hedge your bets? Mm, hedge my bets. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I had my bets to win that's lotto. <laughs> um I had my bets to win the lotto. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a little bit different. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not uh, really clear about what hedge your bets mean. Okay. Maybe, Jose, do you think you could use this as an example? Sorry, Joshua? Do you think you could use hedge your bets in an example sentence? Yes. Uh, for example, journalists are uh, heading their bets on the likely outcome of the election. I decided to aid my bets by oh, another example. I decided to aid my bets by buying sales in several different different companies. I decided to hedge my bets by buying sales in several different companies. By buying stocks. Yes. Different. Buying stocks in several different companies. Good. Yeah, that would definitely be a really good sentence. So you hedge your bets by making diverse investments. You choose a number of different companies, so if one of them fails, uh, the other one won't fail. So it's like a win-win situation to some extent. But good, really nicely done. Does that make sense, Shane? Mm. Yeah, but I'm still didn't get the exact meaning of hedge your bets. Okay, so your parents thought you thought. Oh no! Please don't tell me that's okay. Thought. Oh man, you were going to be a bad child, but they hedged their bets and had two children so that if you did turn out poorly they wouldn't have a problem. Does that make sense? Do you kind of understand that? Shane? Ah, uh, what's this? Uh, your parents thought you were going to be a bad child, but they hedged their bets and had O. Oh, what does it? Ah, uh, had two Sorry. children. So that if you did turn out fully, then they would, wouldn't would have a problem. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't mean that um, they are, uh, they, they like to have a choice. They invest in two things. So if you hedge your bets, you you don't put all your eggs in one basket. You invest in more than one thing. Oh, okay. So it's like, so they have, if the other one fails, the other one doesn't. Mm -hmm. If one fails, the other won't. That, exactly. Oh, okay. Does that make more sense now? Yeah, I understand it now. Okay, good. Does anybody have any... You're welcome, for sure. Does anybody have any other questions on this page? All right, nice. Let's go on to the next page. Um, I guess we can skip this one for now. Um, let's try this. Let's have... Javier, can you read this paragraph? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. By your ability... By... Bias? Bias? Bias. Mental, bias. A mental shortcut that relies on immediate examples that come to a given person's mind when evaluating a specific topic, concept, me method, or decision. The viability heuristic operates on the notion that if something can be recalled, it must be important or at least more important than alternative solutions which are not as, as readily recalled. Subsequently, under the availability, heuristic people tend to have weight their judgments toward more rec recent information, making new opinions biased toward the latest news. For example, someone who watches a lot of movies about terrorist attacks may think the frequency of terrorism 
to be higher than it actually is. Good. Nice job. Subsequently? Subsequently. Subsequently. Uh, heavily. 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 And frequency. 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 Nice. Oh, good. Yeah, you did a good job. Okay. And Javier, can you ask David the, the question here? <laughs> okay, David, have you ever made a bad decision because of a viability bias? Describe it. David? Yes, Joshua. Uh, no, sorry, but I didn't understand the definition. Okay. I, that's probably a good point. Uh, does anybody have any questions about the definition? Yeah. No. Okay, who can explain it? So can anybody explain the, the the idea of making an irrational decision? Maybe it's not a rational decision, yeah. So finally, you if you read a lot about something or about uh, I don't know the last example, of it, it it's the the terrorist attacks, yeah. So as much as you read or as much as you listen or as much as you See something about something you finally you can you think or you believe that it's true, no? And you you make uh, this uh, this decision based on based on the the things that you have written or or listen, no? Yeah. So if you read or hear or see something more often, you assume it is more relevant to the decision that you are making. So. Like in the example, uh, somebody who watches a lot of movies about terrorist attacks may think that the the rate in, of terrorist attacks is actually higher than it is in real life. Um, so if you watch a lot of movies about something specific, you're going to think that thing happens in real life more. If you see something happening in real life, you're going to assume that it happens more across the board. Does that make sense, David? Well, more or less. Okay. Uh, and so, do you think you could make an example, David? No, I think I, I didn't get very well. Okay. You can ask anyone else. Yeah. Alexander, what about you? What do you think? Uh, actually, me either. <laughs> I find it difficult to, to understand. Okay. Alera, do you think you can get it? Uh, for example, in Spain, uh, uh, a lot of people uh, um, do make um, investment uh, um, because the the news about uh, a concretely bank are uh, very. Uh, very good uh, because uh, has a fusion. Um, sometimes uh, maybe the this investment uh, will be a, a lot of money, no, very good, but it's not uh, really. Uh, people don't uh, have uh, inform about uh, this. Uh, was a a fail, uh, a problem, uh, because uh, they don't uh, think uh, they only uh, uh, have uh, your decision or make your decision about the, the news, uh, the news are biased. Okay. So don't think they only make their decisions um, based on the, the news? Yes. Uh, it's... Uh, buy it. 
is not exactly um, is not a good example about uh, a, a heuristic a availability heuristic, but uh, this is uh, a, a biased information. No. Okay. Yeah, that's an irrational decision for sure. So yes, it's um, not not uh, meditate. Uh, yeah, it's not irrational, but it's not meditate uh, uh, decision. I think or oh, no. Not mm. a good decision, probably. Yeah. So yes. relying completely on somebody else's judgment. Maybe maybe um, uh, without uh, uh, all information. Yeah. So it's making a decision without all the information. I don't think it's necessarily an availability heuristic. Um, maybe um, so. It's uh, another ex uh, for availability heuristic is when you don't uh, think uh, uh, nothing. You irrational. Uh, you you buy something. Uh, after that, you say, but. Uh, uh, why I buy this? Uh, I don't uh, have. Uh, I don't need. Uh, no, but uh, sometimes it's a, a um, an advertisement uh, or in the TV you are be, um, watch a series or something. Uh, you have the 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 you need no to to go to to buy something no it's not uh, more or less no it's yeah so if you see commercials all the time where people have an item um, maybe yeah you'll assume that everybody has that item and that you need it too that'd be kind of similar to the availability heuristic um, yeah I think. That's a good one. Maybe <clears throat> if you always see that people are losing their jobs um, and you assume that you are going to lose your job too, so you maybe quit your job and start looking for another one. It's similar. Um, uh, one example a student gave was that she had heard a lot about people stealing bicycles. And so she took the public transportation um, because she was nervous her bicycle would get stolen. And while she was on public transportation, her cell phone was stolen. Um, so it's just making decision based on what you see um, maybe in the news, and it's not necessarily a good decision. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Yeah. David, do you get this a little bit better? Do you understand it more? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, and what about you, Alexander? You're, are you okay? Sort of. Okay. So a lot of movies, I think this is a really good example here. So somebody who watches lots of movies about terrorist attacks may think that the frequency of terrorism is higher than it actually is. So it's just a way of thinking. Your way of thinking is influenced by what you see in a way that's not rational. It's not true. Excuse me. Yes. Can I say um, many uh, women today who watch soap opera are becoming more emotional and suspicious because they think that um, those soap operas they watching are also happening in reality? Is uh -huh. that something this similar That's to an availability heuristic, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good example. Okay, thanks. Um, and so, so even so and a way that your decision making can change off that, so like an example of how that kind of be, can become harmful 
is if you assume that it's happening in real life, you become more jealous and then you maybe drive your significant other away because you're more jealous because you think that you have a reason to be more jealous even though you don't in real life. So yeah, that's a really great example for sure. Okay, any other questions or, or comments here? Okay, and I think we're good. And let's go on to the next page. Let's have Shane. Can you read the role of the worker? So we'll have Shane here. We can have uh, Jose. Can you play the boss? Say, and we'll have Javier. Can you play the coworker? <clears throat> so I'm the what? Uh, Shane? So I you're just the, need to read this. You're the worker right here. Okay, so I just need to read this. So that's yeah. my problem, and I'm curious how you would try to solve it if you were me. You, uh, <clears throat> you actually care about my opinion? Yes, I really do. Are you any closer to solving your problem? Yep. So, yeah. Yep. So far, I've eliminated all of the choices that idiots would make. <laughs> nice. Uh, David, David, what's happening in this comic? Um, well, Joshua, in this comic, the employee go go to the boss and ask for for an advice and well the boss is surprised because he, maybe he and he doesn't think that the employees mm, care of his opinion and Here's final, more. his opinion mm -hmm. and finally he speak with another employee and well, he said that uh, in general, he's he's just going to eliminate the idea that the boss said to him. Uh huh. That the boss. Yeah. Good. You did a nice job. Um, so, what do you think his opinion about the boss is? Um, I guess Alexander, what's the the worker think about the boss? Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat one more time? Yeah, what does the worker think about the boss? Uh, as uh, someone has said, that he just uh, doesn't uh, concern about his uh, about uh, his. Uh, uh, employee, employee's opinion, and uh, he just uh, only uh, he just only concerns about uh, his problems, not about other people's. Um, other people. I think you're a little bit off. So remember that the employee is the man on the right side of the comic. This is the employee, and this employee. is the boss. Um, so what does the worker, what does the employee think about the boss? So he doesn't not care about other people's opinion. What is what is his opinion about the boss? Uh. Um... I don't know. Maybe she. Uh, I'm sorry. He wanted to uh, ask his boss about this problem. How he uh, would have uh, solved that. Uh, he would have solved that. Uh, and. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, 
I'm actually about to uh, <laughs> um, eliminate it. I've eliminated it. Like to get rid of. Uh huh. I've He just wanted to <laughs> ah yes <laughs> it it uh, it down on me he uh, he thinks uh, of his boss that he is idiot <laughs> uh -huh. and he just uh, um, didn't want to repeat uh, uh, the boss's mistakes <laughs> yeah yeah. So he assumes that the boss is just going to say something that's a bad idea. So he doesn't even want to have to go through those bad ideas, think of them himself, and then eliminate them. He's just going to eliminate them off the bat because he knows the boss is an idiot. Exactly. That's really good. Uh, nice job, Alexander. Uh, Heidi, welcome to class. Heidi, how's it going? Hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Um, and good morning, I think. Good morning. <laughs> And okay, good. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay, uh, Alexander, really nice job as well. Saying it dawned on me—that's a really good expression. Um, okay, and let's go on. Uh, let's try this. And Avera, can you read the role of the president? Uh, yes, you are the president of your country. You want to fund uh, the space program. You've uh, always want to be an astronaut. Also, you think people need hope uh, in difficult economic times. Convince your answer uh, to all, uh, allow uh, you uh, to fund a mission to Mars. Good. Astronaut. Astronaut. Yeah, astronaut. 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 Convince. Convince. Yeah. Advisor. 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 Really well done. And Shane, can you read the role of the advisor? Advisor. Um, Wait. Which one? The first or the second? <laughs> the one on the right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you're the president's advisor. You think it would be a bad idea to pro propose investing more money in the space program, especially in this bad economy. Convince the president that he's making a bad decision. Good. OK. Adela, how would you start this conversation? Um, what is the name Sorry, uh, to uh, is Shen, no? Uh, Mr. Shen, uh, I I know your program uh, about uh, uh, space uh, program, uh, but um, about uh, is a uh, redundant, but <laughs> a space program, uh, and uh, I think uh, you are wrong uh, about uh, your opinion. Uh, because uh, uh, have uh, explored the universe, uh, have more possibilities to uh, uh, find uh, uh, ex extra um, es um, life in other planets. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, maybe you can have a lot of uh, uh, research uh, in uh, Mars or in another planet. You can have a lot of what on Mars or another planet? Uh, you can have uh, a lot of uh, natural resources. So is resource? Yes. Resources. Resources. On Mars, uh, etc. Nice. You, you um. need to explore them. Yeah, you can have a lot. Of, okay, have works. Um, you need to explore them. Uh, extraterrestrial. Um, sorry. 
Can you repeat? Extraterrestrial? Extraterrestrial. Yeah, good. And I think that's what you were trying to say before. You can also say ET. Um, extraterrestrial life on other planets. Okay, and Shane, how would you respond? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, probably I need to explore them. And I'm going to make a probable... Uh, I'm, I'm going to make... I'm going to find a um, proof to show you that um, my decision or my um, idea is correct. Okay. And remember, if you're the advisor, you think it's a bad idea to invest more money in the space program. Um, Not really. I think <laughs> the space so, program is good. Yeah, which is fine for your opinion. In this dialogue, just so we have some sort of disagreement, um, yeah, we'll... I think it's better to have it just one way and the end the other. So, but that was a really good answer, Shane. Um, Jose, if you were the advisor, how would you respond? Yes. Um, <clears throat> I would like uh, to, to be an astronaut all, all my life. I... You're when, the you're the advisor, remember. So let's stick with uh, the advisor. The advisor. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, President, we we have a bad uh, econ economy. I think uh, it 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 isn't a good idea to propose invest investing more money in the space program. Uh, we have a um, high rate of employment. Uh, the people don't have enough money for for living. Uh, I think uh, uh, will be better to to put uh, money in the budget to uh, to other th th things. Budget for other things. For, for other things. Good. Um, instead of saying I think it isn't, I don't think it is. Okay. I don't. Okay. It is a good idea. Okay. Nice. Good job. And people don't have enough money to live. Instead of saying for living, but good. Really nice job. Uh, Javier, how would you respond? Javier, are you there? Okay, Heidi, how about you? Yeah, I'm leaving, but um, the uh, to leave it's it hink it what does it mean? To live? To live next, it hink it would be better to put money. What the, does it mean? It hink it would. The former um, sentence, the last line. I think. I think. I just didn't put the T. Uh, I think, or I think. I think. Yeah. So <laughs> it, I just hit the space bar <laughs> too soon. That's, I was thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, mm, it, we manage the budget for other things. Okay. Yeah, uh, I know our country doesn't have a, a big budget for as a new project, but um, America or uh, United States or uh, Russia was our advanced uh, companies to explore the uh, the space. Outer spaces. Um, how about to, uh, to invest 
uh, that com uh, countries, then uh, we can uh, be shared the, uh, their result in the future. Okay, nice. So looking at an international pursuit of space, good. All right, and Daoid, how would you respond as the advisor? Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> yes, sure. Mm. I don't agree, Mr. President. Well, uh, the people are abs uh, are you hearing me? Sorry. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, the people are um, well. The the citizenship are upset because uh, like we are having a really bad economical time. They don't need uh, to have hopes with uh, extraterrestrial or space. Uh, we don't have to think in science fiction. We have to think in our reality. And the reality is hard. We have to invest uh, more money in or spend our resources in in food in increased employee on um, it's all maybe in creating jobs mhm mm sure creating jobs yeah we can't be thinking science fiction we need to be thinking in our reality and our reality is hard we need to spend our resources um, on food on creating more jobs yeah, nice. I think that's great. Really good job. All right. And, yeah, so unfortunately we are just about out of time. Maybe let's try one more. Alexander, let's squeeze you in. If you're the president, what would you say? Uh, I think uh, you are wrong because uh, the uh, space program is the uh, best way to uh, fund our money because it will come in handy. It will uh, be a good uh, help for the people that uh, they uh, that we are uh, advising in that way. And if people know that. I think they will uh, support us. I think a lot of people now are interested in, uh, you know, uh, finding out about uh, space, and it's uh, also a great way to finally, uh, eventually, you know, uh, figure out what, how we, uh, we burn, how we, uh, why we are existing now, and what's. I think it's uh, a more uh, reasonable uh, and it's like it's kind of more um, forward thinking progressive maybe? Like progressive yeah forward thinking and if we want to be a leading country we need to do that step because we need to it's take that step. Take? We need to take that step. Alert. We need to take that step uh, because uh, that step is uh, really uh, uh, important. <laughs> important. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Really nice job. Um, and so, yeah, we are just out of time. Uh, thanks for coming in, guys. You did a great job. Um, yeah, thanks again for coming in. I understood that as an expression. What do you mean is an what's an expression, Adela? 
Oh. No, it's about uh, okay. Shane. Shane is uh, is worried about the the soap opera. Uh huh. I I understand. It's an expression, no, to to think about soap opera and woman. Woman. Yes, mm -hmm. it's not a problem. Okay. Good. All right. And again, thank you guys for coming in, and I'll see you again soon. Okay. Bye bye.